Hi guys, I'm going to introduce you today to our new Notion dashboard. This is called the Faith Dashboard and it's um, a bundle of the sermon notes, the Bible study notes, your verse library, prayer uh, template, and so much more. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that you see is you have a little bit of a verse on top that you can change daily or weekly or monthly or maybe just leave your favorite verse up there. And then after that, you have three sections. You have your study section, your middle section that's more miscellaneous, and your listen to section. So um, in your study section, what you'll see is Bible study notes, which is similar to the free template if you guys have seen that one. Um, you have your sermon notes in here. Topic studies, in case you want to study specific topics like homosexuality or the trinity or marriage um, anything like that and then you also have a section for christian books it's like a little bit of a library where you can take notes on the christian books that you're reading in the middle what you're going to see is a section for prayer and you have one for you specifically in your walk with god which is a prayer and answer you can see and track um, as your prayers are get getting answered and when you have another difficult time you can remember when God has answered your prayers previously. And then underneath that, you will see a pray for others section. And this is where you can keep track of your friends' prayers, your family's prayer requests, and anyone else that you want to pray for. And I'll go into detail in all of these later, but I just wanted to give you an overview. Um, up next, you're going to see Rejoice, and this, if you can see a little bit of a hint, it's Rejoice and Do Good, like our brand. I wanted to include this because it was a lesson that we learned in Ecclesiastes, and if you're on our email list, you will see um, that broken down more too. But what the Rejoice section contains is a gratitude journal, um, a little video and lesson on what it means to rejoice and a 30 days of intentionality challenge. And again, I'll go into these a little bit um, later. And next up, we have our Do Good section. This is where um, you can donate to our Do Good Nation, which is one where we um, collect money together and then we give it away to someone that is in need. Um, you can also vote for who you want to give it away to um, all on our Instagram, so be sure to follow us on there. And then we have a section for people in need. So this is a cool way for you to just track um, people that that need your help, that you want to help out eventually or when you can save out the money for it. And then lastly, we have a volunteer work section where you can uh, keep track of all the places you can volunteer, um, the dates when those are coming up, the contact information for those people, and etc. And then lastly, in this middle section, we have verses and we have a main verse library. This contains all of your database of verses um, for every category, which you'll see later that will also link to your topic notes and your favorite verses down here. Um, and then we have one verses for strength, but I will teach you how to create multiple sections like this. So you have verses for every category that you want. So you can have it for hope versus for family versus for um, like anything else that you might want to collect. And then the last section is a listen to. Um, you have this image which you can change. It's just an inspiration image. And then you have a playlist that we update on a weekly basis. Um, you can also substitute this with your own playlist or any other Spotify playlist. And then underneath that, we have a list of podcasts that we recommend. And of course, you can extend and add more podcasts to, the list, to this list. Okay, so to get started, the first one is the Bible study. And I'm just going to show you a quick preview of this one because I did a full video um, on this one specifically. But all it is, or what it is, is a database of every book in the Bible. And then if you open that, it's going to be... Um, every chapter in the Bible, along with a sentence summary, um, all the this information, fun facts, um, and it goes through every book in the Bible all the way up from the Old Testament to the New Testament. So that one, full details um, on uh, our other video. 
The next one that you will see in, under here is the sermon notes. So the first one is basically meant for you to take Bible study notes. Um, for this one, you take notes on sermon. So it's set up a little bit differently. And um, we have a template preview right here. So every single time you want to start a new section or new notes, then you can open that and you have little guidelines on what to fill out. So you can have a passage if it's a sermon based on a specific section of the Bible. You can do a topic summary, just like a one sentence summary after you finish the sermon, a link to the sermon notes or to the sermon video. Let's say it's online somewhere, you can uh, put a link to there. Um, the date, the church, the speaker. And then underneath you will see um, the way that we set it up for you to take notes. The section starts with sermon notes. So you can take your notes. Um, you can also use callouts to highlight scripture. And then at the end, we have a reflection section. So um, what lessons have you learned? Any questions that you have about the sermon? Things to pray about and key people in the story. The cool thing is, if you like to do it a different way, you can actually edit that, that template. When you start to edit the template, you can just create a new one and highlight over this. So every time you create a new one, you can click this template. Or you can highlight over these three dots and edit. That way you can edit the template and kind of what you want to reflect on at the end. And let me just show you really quick how I um, I took notes on one of them. So this is all filled out and this will come with your uh, template so you can look through it. I like to just have bullet points, main topics, bullet points. All the verses are in a blue call out. And let's say there's another quote that's not um, that's not verses from the Bible you can just change the color of the call out. So I did um, pink for this one uh, with a little light bulb instead of the blue. So that's that for sermon notes. Next up is topic studies. So for here, we already plugged in a bunch of them to start out with, but anytime you wanna do a new one, you just click new. And then along these topic studies, we also have uh, study recommendations. So books, YouTube channels, and tools. Um, and if you look at any of these, there's a verse filter, so you can uh, connect this to your original verse library. And then you have, um, it's broken down by resources on the topic. So the idea is you pull as many resources as you can from books or sermons, anything like that. And then you pull all the resources from the Bible. So find what the Bible says and add it in here. And then your reflection is kind of a combination of looking at what people have said, what does the Bible say, and what the truth is. You reflect on that and you can write that at the bottom. That's the main um, thing about the topic studies. And then the Christian books, you can just add any book in here as a new one. And you have this little library. Um, it has the author, the cover, the link to the book, um, let's say you want to read it later, you want all these books that you want to read, but you don't have it yet, you can add a link. Um, you can add the progress of where you are at if you want to read, if it's in progress or it's not started. And then you have notes for each chapter of the book. And again, I have a, a way that I like to break it down, but you can use that template or use another one. And then for the next section of prayer, we have prayer and answer. So for the prayer and answer template, we start with a prayer that's from the Bible that Jesus taught um, his disciples how to pray. And then we have prayer categories. So this is just, if you're not sure what to pray for, these are some suggestions and you can also add more. And then um, you can click new and you can add a new prayer. There's a daily prayer template and there's flaming arrows template. So I will show you both of them. The daily prayer template is a prayer journal for every single day. Um, so you can just type your prayer in here and then you can title the prayer there and you can write the date of when it's written. The cool thing is um, once you finish that prayer, you can actually tap answered when God has answered a prayer and it moves down here to this category of answered prayers. So that's really cool uh, way to track when attract uh, your answered prayers. Now let's say um, you want to click the flaming arrows template. So this one, what is is what it is is 
if you're struggling with something, um, we learn in, uh, I believe, Ephesians that we put on the armor of God and the devil attacks with the flaming arrows. So this idea is to take those flaming arrows of lies um, and speak truth on it with the sword of truth, which is the Bible. So take something that you're struggling with, like I'm not good enough, um, something like that, and then you find the verses that says you were made in the image of God and anything else to fight the truth, uh, fight the lies with the truth. So that's a cool little prayer section that we have included in this second version. Um, you can see this as an example. And that will be left in there so that you can uh, test it. Okay, and then let's move on to the section of pray for others. So this one is a good way to, um, and, and it has a verse on the top, and it's a good way for you to keep track of your friends prayers and then anytime that it's an answered prayer you can just drag that and move it down to there I'm just gonna undo it but that's how you can keep track of your friends prayers and make sure you pray for um, others next up we have rejoice and the gratitude journal so for the gratitude journal um, it's a way for us to give thanks to God for everything that he does. Um, so the way I set this up is I was originally going to do it by date, um, by every day, uh, every day, but I don't think realistically people are going to use this every single day. So instead I just created a blank template and you can just duplicate that for a new day. Um, that way you can click your date here and what you're thankful for. Um, and it's by months. So every month you can write what you're thankful for. And then, um, you can grab the template for 2023 and plug it in here. This section is going to be, um, we're going to have a new video in here uh, in the future and we'll email everybody who bought the template when that's live. But until then, we have all the verses from the Bible that have, um, that it talks about rejoicing. And then the 30 days of intentionality is pretty much a way for you to look at what you're spending your time on and what you should be spending your time on or things that you want to do more of. Um, and then you can change the date and check these off. So you have like 30 days of challenges to do that. Next, we have the donate section. So as I mentioned, this one is part of our Do Good Nation. Um, and you can choose to donate one time, monthly, or annually. Next is people in need. So this is where you can um, create a template and write, uh, for example, um, pray for Ukraine. And you can have the contact info of who you want to um, uh, how, how you want to contact them, how to help. So for us, it was reach out to family in Romania and see how we can support housing in the refugees. Um, the status that it's in, prayer requests to pray for them, and any updates. And then you can move it where it's at from not started to complete. And then for volunteer work is just um, a way for you to be intentional about looking for ways to volunteer and help. Um, and you can take notes of um, the website link, any details, information, date, contact address. Let's say you have to go in a place, which I could just show you the food shuttle. Um, this is the address that we go to if we're signed up, um, who our contact is, and then we can also take notes about our experience there. Um, next step is a verse library. So this one's really cool because um, you can pretty much type in as many verses as you can. So all the verses in your Bible that you normally highlight, you can add them in here and then you want to add a topic to them so that you can filter through them later as you need it. So we have the verses for strength as one of the filter, your favorite verses, which will then show up in the front page. Um, and then you can also do topic studies. So I think I mentioned there's one for, um, for like marriage. 
So if you go to topic studies, Christian marriage, you can see that the topic in here is marriage. So if you write a verse on the original database, it will actually show up in here. So that's how you can connect all the verses that you already researched with the topics that you're studying. And then, like I mentioned before, we have the verses for strength. So this is if you want to separate them into different pages so you can do more research. And that's pretty much it. Like I mentioned, the podcast and the audio is on there and your favorite verses is in here. I will also do um, more detailed videos about each of these sections. So be sure to follow us on YouTube and we'll be posting those soon.